Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, we're here for well, a video I did not expect to be making uh, coming into today, that's for sure. Um, I had sat down to sort of come up with ideas for different videos I want to make. You know, step away from gaming videos and streaming for a day or two. Come up with a few ideas and this is not on the list when I started. So, last night, it was 4 o'clock in the morning. Well, I guess I could say it was 4 in the morning, not last night. Uh, but it was 4 in the morning. And I went to the bathroom and I brought my phone. You know, use it as a flashlight down the hallway. So I don't turn the lights on and get into the bedrooms. Uh, <laughs> my parents have the door open to their room for the cat. So I had my phone, use the flashlight, not to waste them up. And I'm in the bathroom and I get a F1 notification on my phone. And I think, oh, it's going to be some, you know, watch this video clip of somebody's team audio from the race. You know, see what happened in Russia or get prepared for the race in a week and a half or whatever. But, no. It said that Honda was leaving F1 in 2021 after the season. I was completely just surprised, as was everybody else. I immediately went on Twitter, went on Reddit, like, uh, it was crazy. It, like, I still don't really know what to say about it. Like, I I really wanted to sit down and record the video right at that second, but I didn't. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I have, like, I don't really know. It was just absolutely crazy. I to see this pop up and I'm just like Honda's leaving like <laughs> I have no words to describe like my reaction to that it's genuinely just so surprising so random like out of nowhere they signed with Red Bull for 21 they said yeah we're gonna stay and I'm like oh that's good they're gonna keep going but it's so weird. Um, you know, to see the progress the Honda's made, obviously, for me, I fully, like, well, I got into F1 last year. You know, I got into F1 2019. But going back and learning the things of what's happened in the past few seasons, like, this is the progress the Honda's made from being a complete trash engine with McLaren that couldn't do anything to... Winning races with Red Bull and Alpha Tauri in the last, you know, season and this season. Like, the wins that they've gotten, like, you would think, okay, we're going to stay around. We're starting to get winning. We're starting to get, you know, going places. We're doing things great with Red Bull. But they said yeet. Uh, so it's just crazy that they put that much time in from joining, I believe, what was it, 15? From 2015 to now, like to get that engine to be competitive, to get to be good, to get somewhere where they're actually racing for for wins. And I don't know. I think that it's just very, very surprising to see them leave now. That's my reaction to it. I'm just completely just... I don't know. Um, I think that if... People look, though, say Honda wants to get back into F1 in a few years. Like, people are going to question that a little bit because Honda's been a company that came and went in F1 so much that, you know, you'd think, okay, they were with McLaren in the 90s, things like that. Early 90s, they were there. And then they sort of left for a while. They came back in early 2000s as an engine supplier and then made their whole team, which they then left. They sold the team, became Braun GP, and then Mercedes. And then they come back a few years later to do engines again, and then they leave. It's, I would think a lot of people would be very hesitant at a team if Honda said, we want to come back again. Um, I think that they just keep changing their mind, and it's, it's a problem. I, I don't know. I think that that's definitely going to be interesting. And honestly, for me, like I thought we were going to see... Honda step up and do more sponsorship because there's an opening for Red Bull now 
to get a car company to sponsor it. Have you seen the hat? Aston Martin. Like, that's their stuff. Aston Martin Red Bull Racing at the moment. But next year, Aston Martin's going to become its own team. Of course, Racing Point becoming Aston Martin. I figured, okay, maybe it'll be Honda. Maybe Honda will step up and it'll just be Honda Red Bull Racing. They'll take that, you know, that next step. Take that Aston Martin spot on the car. You know, Honda on the rear wing and Honda on all that stuff. But evidently, it's not going to happen. Or if it does, it's like a year thing. I don't know. I think that that's very strange that they're stepping away like that. Um, they didn't really put out any information unless something's changed in the last like little bit, but it's just basically said, yeah, we're eating from the sport. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's crazy. As for engines-wise for Red Bull and AlphaTauri, uh, that puts them in a weird spot because you got three engines now. And I don't think you can get another company to come in now to make an engine. It's just so far into the process of the hybrid engine in this current engine in Formula One that it's at least Red Bull's not going to want to jump onto that. Maybe they'll get Alpha Tower to do it or something, but you don't want to be that team that's getting onto a brand new manufacturer's hybrid engine now. It's you're not going to compete with that. You know, it'll be just so bad. So, I don't see another company coming in and doing that for that time unless they jump in, like, right now and say, we're going to build this engine and have it ready for 22, maybe? But that gives them, like, less than a like year and a half. You know, it puts them out a year and three months, four months, something like that. You have less than a year and a half to get a competitive engine, so I don't think that's going to happen. So, there's three engine suppliers. You got Mercedes, which I don't think are just going to be willing to do an engine deal with the second best team on the grid. You have Ferrari, which I don't think either team, Red Bull or Alpha Tyre, is going to be interested. And again, I don't think that Ferrari, when they do go back to being competitive, is going to want to have their engine in the second or third best team whenever Ferrari gets back to the front. And then you come to Renault, which has been the engine for, well, was the engine for Red Bull for quite a while. They, they had the Renault engines. But things fell apart in that relationship. We saw that very, very clearly in Drive to Survive, season one, from the 2018 seasons that fell apart and Red Bull went to Honda. So... That's the most logical answer, though, because Renault has an opening, many openings. They have no customers. It's just themselves after this season. Because right now, they have McLaren. We're going to Mercedes. So that's your only real option for a team that's probably willing to do it. And want it. I don't know if they're willing, but they'll have to do it because uh, there's rules that... You have to, you know, whatever team has the less, the least engines has to supply the teams without engines, apparently. So, that would have to be the most logical deal, unless they can get something with Mercedes or Ferrari. Which, I just don't see them wouldn't do anything with Ferrari, because Ferrari engines are very bad this year, and they will be next year at least. And these engines carry until, like, 2026 or something, so I think that's what it is. So it's still a while away from switching the engine up. So, I, I don't know. I think you... You either see a Red Bull with a Renault engine, or you see a Red Bull potentially, but very, very unlikely, with a Mercedes engine. That's really all, all the options have. All the options that they could go with. So, I don't know. This is very, very wild, unexpected. I think the thing that threw people off more was normally when something's going to happen, and I see this with both F1 and NASCAR, when something's going to happen, the news gets out there a few days before it happens, and then it gets officially announced by Formula One or the teams or whatever. We saw that with the changing of their CEO. We sort of, I forgot what the other guy's name is, but... We sort of knew, okay, Chase Gary's going to be replaced in a few days by the guy that worked for Ferrari and works with Lamborghini now and whatever. We sort of knew that a few days before they came out and said it. 
and same with some of the tracks, you know, the ones that are coming out for this season. There's a lot of rumblings of Turkey coming back on the calendar for 2020 as one of the, you know, tracks to go to. And then officially it came out. So you see that kind of stuff. And that's the same with, like, NASCAR, with the whole new calendar NASCAR we saw for this year, like, or for 2021. Circuit of the Americas is kind of, like, rumored to be coming out, and then it did. And that kind of thing, like, Bristol Dirt Race. Like, those types of things sort of come out or get, like, rumored. And there was nothing about Honda leaving F1. Nothing. It just came out, like, we're gone after next year. And it's just like, bro, what? That's the thing that's crazy is it just didn't get out there. It didn't get leaked or, you know, mentioned in anything. It was just like October 2nd, news release from Honda in Tokyo. We're leaving Formula 1 in 2021. I don't know. It's crazy. So, wild times. But, yeah, with that, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next one.